Hello, welcome to my regrouping subtraction. This will be the final phase for subtraction. Today we'll be dealing with zeros. Uh, let me start here. 702 take away 545. It involves with a zero in the middle. Um, students here in this country are having problems with solving regrouping subtraction. In fact, 68% of fourth graders in one particular city here cannot solve regrouping subtraction with involved with a zero in the middle. 68%. So today I'm going to show you how it's done. So let's begin. Let's cover. 2 take away 4, 5 is 2 take away 5. The ask question is the top number bigger than the bottom number? So the top number is 2 and 5 is and the bottom is bigger so we can subtract. So 2 is going to ask 0 if he could borrow some money. But zero said, I'm sorry, number two, I don't have any money. So zero asked two, why don't you ask seven? Maybe he got some. And seven, sure, I have money. I'm going to let you borrow. So seven said, okay, I'm going to let you borrow. Let's cut it out. It becomes a six. Now, will I give one straight to two? No, don't do that. So this is how I explain to my students. Never, never throw money like it's not polite. You have to be polite. So. You don't want to do that. You give it first to zero. Be polite now. You've got to say the word polite. Did they understand that? So she said, okay, can you? Can I give it to you, zero? So, oh, sure, I'll have it. So zero becomes a 10. Cross it out. Because two, can, can I borrow now? Because you, are, you have money. So 10 says, sure. So 10 becomes a 9. Therefore, we put one there. So that's 12 take away 5. So 12 take away 5 is 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. And 9 take away 4 is, can we subtract? The top number is bigger, so we can subtract. So 9 take away 4, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And 6 take away 1 is 6, no, 6 take away 5, sorry. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And so it's 157. And this is how I solve with the zeros. If you teachers going to do this, over there, 68%, they will get you, and I'll guarantee you the 68% will be history. So try some new methods. Try anything. Just be sure it's easy for them to understand. Okay, so let's go with the zeros now. 500. Take away 42. Again, let's cover. I have a question. Is the top number bigger than the bottom? The top number is smaller, 0, take away 2, you cannot subtract. So 0 is going to ask 0, like, hey, 0, can I borrow some money? And 0 said, I'm sorry, I don't have any money. Why did you ask 5? And 5 said, sure, I'll let you borrow because of 4. And then we don't throw the money. It's not polite. We have to give it first. To the, who's closest to 4 is the first 0. So uh, 0 asks, hey, 10, so you have money, can I borrow some? Sure. I'll let, you, I'll, you borrow. I'll let you borrow. So it's a 9 and it becomes a 10. So 10 take away 2 is 10, 9, 8. And 9 take away 4, can we subtract? Yes. Top number is bigger. 9 take away 4, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And 4 take away nothing, just drop it down, it becomes 4. Okay. Another example. Okay, let's cover. 0 take away 4, we cannot subtract because the top number is smaller than the bottom. So 0 is going to add 0. Like, I'm sorry, I don't have any money. It's add 7. So 7 said, oh, sure, I can let you borrow. So 7, okay. So 6. Now we don't throw. Be polite now. You always give it first to the first 0. So 10, can you, can you, uh, he let the 0 borrow now? So sure, I have m m money now. So sure, you can do that. Let's cross it out, becomes a 9, then it becomes a 10. 10 to 4 is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And 6, and then 9 to away 6 is 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. And 6 to 5 is 6 to 5, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
136. I apologize, uh, I have to be a little faster because YouTube is going to give me only 10 minutes every uh, session, so I apologize for that. This will be our last example. And recover, big number becomes a small number. Zero take away four, we cannot subtract because the top number is smaller than the bottom. So zero is going to add zero, like I'm sorry, go better ask my other body. Uh, zero, then I'm sorry, you go to the next one. Oh, eight, can we borrow some money? Sure, eight said no problem, becomes a seven. And now we don't throw the money, we always pass it to the first one. For zero, oh, okay, it becomes a ten. Now he could, uh, oh, I could borrow now, sure, it's a nine. And then we don't throw again, we have to be polite, we give it to the first next zero. So 10, now you could, zero could borrow now. So 10 becomes a 9, and this becomes a 10. So cover, 10 take away 4 is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And 9 take away 5 is 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. And 9 take away 2 is 9, 8, 7. And drop down the last number, 7 take away nothing is, just drop down 7. And it will be 7,746. And again, um, this is how I do it. And if you have problems with students, just follow step by step. And then I'll guarantee you, they will understand you. I'm talking about all of your students will understand you. That's what I do every time I go to a classroom. So good luck. And uh, next, I'll see you multiplication. And you won't believe that multiplication. And kindergarten and first graders could solve multiplication with me. So, I'm excited to show it to you.